So I said I was going to do these back to back. I literally meant it. You can see the other videos uploading right now. <laughs> so this video is about the time I had to be fired from Sprint. I used to work for Sprint. I worked for them for about a year, well, a little under a year, probably nine or ten months. I had a girlfriend of about a year at the time. She lived two and a half, two to two and a half hours away, depending on traffic. Um, I lived in, at the time, um, Northeast Ohio. She lived almost in Pennsylvania. Uh, so that's how far away she was. And I used to visit her once a week. We used to hang out once a week. I would go out there. I would stay the night and come home, go to work. And this is way back in like 2012. I met her in April of 2012. And we broke up in October of 2013 to give you a timeline. So in that time frame, it was December 26th or 27th. I moved out to live with her. And it was an awesome place. I loved it out in the area she was in because there was a lot of country land. There was a lot of fun stuff to do. Um, I'll just, I'll tell you guys the city. It's not a big deal. It was Geneva on the lake is where we lived. So we ended up actually rent to owning a house on the main street out in Geneva which was about a mile from Lake Erie. I used to go to the beach every day as long as it was sunny and at least 70 degrees. I would go to the beach every day. It was the most relaxed I've ever been in my life. I worked at Sprint um, probably from January or February to October. And it was it, hands down my favorite place I've ever worked. The manager of that store, I'm still in contact with him to this day. He's an incredibly nice guy. He doesn't deserve the shit that he's gotten from some of the girls he's dated, for damn sure. Oh my god, bunch of... Uh, uh, I'm not going into that. That's his business. But definitely one of the nicest people I've ever met. If we had all of our work done, we'd go out in the parking lot, we'd throw a football around, we'd play with frisbees. Uh, we used to shoot videos, and um, I never got them uploaded to my YouTube channel. I really wish I would have, because they were a lot of fun. We used to do, like, stupid videos, like, oh, let's try to break this bowling ball on the concrete. <laughs> we used to do that. He was an awesome person. Um, if he bought a phone off of, like, Craigslist or something like that, he'd always bring it in. I was the technician of the store. So he'd bring it in. He'd have me look at it, fix it, modify it put custom ROMs on them when they were Android, jailbreak them when they were iPhones, put on the best tweaks, and then he'd flip them and give me a percentage. So he was a badass guy to work with. Well, no, he wouldn't flip them. I'd buy them from him and then flip them. Sorry, I was mixing that up in my head. Um, but he was a badass guy, one of the nicest people I've ever met. The co-workers were amazing too. Uh, there were a couple of them that sometimes got on my nerves there was one of them he was a redhead he was a hothead i was very happy when he stopped working there that made the job a lot easier but the person that really got on my nerves out of anyone was my manager when it came to the tech repair side of the store so at sprint they used to have in-store technicians that would fix phones uh, and do all that kind of stuff. Well, the store manager was not technically your manager when it came to the tech repair side of the store. There was a manager that would drive around from store to store to store, train people, sign them up for the official training so they could get certified through Sprint to do their repairs, and then would end up, you know, helping you from there when you need it. The system... When it came to actually ordering parts for repair and things like that, was god awful. There was way too many steps involved. It was absolutely ridiculous, and it wasn't needing to be that ridiculous. So, working there, it was a lot of fun. Just a lot of the software side of things was a real pain in the butt. Activating a cell phone at Sprint was a pain in the butt uh, at the time, but it's a lot easier now. Oh my god, my legs are going numb. Been sitting on the floor for too long jesus christ uh so working there like i said it was a blast it was my favorite job ever and then i get to go to the beach after work every day so much fun i wouldn't trade it for the world so what ended up actually happening was that technician for some odd reason that tech manager he just 
didn't seem to really like me at all. And I couldn't figure out what it was. I never did figure out what it was either. Like, I have no idea why he didn't like me. Oh my god, I gotta get my shoes off. My freaking legs are numb from sitting on the floor for so long. So I have no idea why he didn't like me. And what ended up happening was he just avoided our store pretty much at all costs. If I did, like, one little thing wrong in the system, I'd get yelled at by him. It was just like CPR cell phone repair from the last video that I talked about. Uh, I'd get yelled at by him and get in trouble for doing something wrong, obviously. So my manager always had my back. He knew I was smart. He knew I needed to be there. He knew that I was worth it. And when it came down to it, there was an audit of the store about to be done. I was there long enough that that made sense, but the store manager had forgotten one important detail when it came to me being the technician in the store. That certified sprint training. Since that manager tried to, that technician manager actually tried to avoid me for some reason at all costs, um, it ended up turning out being just a nightmare because it was the nightmare come true because I would have loved to stay at Sprint. I would have stayed there till this day, worked there today, you know? But what ended up happening was because I was never certified for that training, we failed the audit as the store. And it was actually technically that manager's fault, but he swore up and down, oh, I tried to sign him up for that training. He was never willing to go. You know, that stupid shit to cover his own ass that, you know, obviously wasn't any bit of truth on his end. So he tried to cover his own ass with that, and because of it, I ended up getting fired. The manager that I had at Sprint, the store manager, he was a, like I've said this whole time, an amazing person to work with. He wasn't really the type to show emotion except for, like, happiness. He never really would show anger. Um, he would never show sadness. He'd come into the store, and he would leave any of his personal life at the door. He would literally just... He was a professional. He was good at his job. He made the store so much fun to work at that I wish every manager I had since then worked the same way he did because he understood. Keep the job fun. Keep your employees happy. You get results. The store that I worked for was number one in the state two months in a row and like within the top 10 every other month that I worked there up until the time he left even after I had gotten fired up until the point he left and actually he only ended up leaving the job I think a year or two ago for a new place because he got fired for a real bullshit reason that I believe he actually sued them for and won. Um... Again, not my place to really tell his business, but since you guys don't really have a way to track down who he is or anything, I'll just be pretty broad about it. So at Sprint, obviously, pretty much everyone these days has a smartphone. Everybody has an iPhone. Everybody has an Android phone. You all have something. Well, he never wanted to be part of that world. He wanted his flip phone. That's all he ever needed because all he did was make phone calls. And even then, it was rare. If he was with other people, he would put his phone away. If he was just out and about, um, like running errands and just had to call somebody at home real quick, that's why he had a flip phone, because it was cheap and he didn't need all the bells and whistles of a smartphone. He understood the systems. He was very smart. He just didn't himself need a smartphone. Well, within, I'm going to give a broad timeline of within the last three years, he ended up actually getting wrongfully fired because in his contract for work there was nothing about him needing to have a smartphone that he paid for out of his own pocket up until literally i think i only found out he finally got a smartphone like a year ago but uh up until you know i think it was within the last three years uh within the last two to three years he was just staying with that flip phone. He did not want to get a smartphone that he had to use for work. And in my opinion, that's real bullshit. He, if, if the, a company wants you to do something that requires something that 
makes you have to pay more out of pocket for it. So for example, going from a flip phone to a smartphone plan, that's a huge step up. You can get flip phone plans as low as $15 a month now. A smartphone plan, good luck. You're paying at least 45 plus per month because of data. Well, that's why he, and that's one of the other reasons he had the flip phone. It was cheap. He didn't need or want to spend $50, $60 a month on a smartphone plan when he wasn't planning on using the features or any of that shit. Well, they said either you get a smartphone or we fire you, and they didn't offer to help compensate him for the price of owning a smartphone. And because of that, he was let go. Now, he did sue for that, and I believe because it wasn't directly in his contract when he was hired and when he signed it, and they didn't change the contract, the work contract, um, he actually won his case, which was awesome. Ended up getting a lot of money, and... Got himself a house, got himself a nice car, got himself all the stuff he needed. But I think that's what he ended up doing with it. But uh, from there, that's just what it was. He, just like me, he got screwed over by Sprint. Sprint's a lot better to work for now, but back in, you know, like 2015 or older, it was a nightmare because of terrible management, bad business deals. Um, for example, out in Geneva, T-Mobile had the market pretty much cornered. So if you got a Sprint phone, you basically got no service out there. I don't know how we were number one when there was just no service to be had. Uh, if you had Verizon, you basically got no service out there. At my house, literally a cell phone tower across the street from me, I still got like 3G constantly. Um, and just overall, that's what happened when it came to sprint with me and my boss that guy was amazing to work for people higher up than him were terrible to work for and you know when they say people don't quit the job they quit the management sprint made that very true but instead it was that i got fired from terrible management by terrible management and had no no wanting to leave that place but shit happens it's okay and here I am now. So I don't know what other stories I, I could tell the pizza delivery story for my next video. That would be a lot of fun. It's not a long one, but knowing me and my ADHD, you're going to get a long story. <laughs> but that's what happened to me at Sprint. I think the next video I'll tell the story of the pizza deliveries uh, because I had a lot of fun with pizza deliveries. I only delivered pizza for three weeks. That's all the details I'm going to give you in this video. But I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm still getting used to doing this type of video where I just talk. These are like my mini podcasts, I guess, where I could actually probably extend these a lot and just like write down bullet points for myself to talk about. But again, I want to ease myself into it. I don't want to do hour-long videos and ruin myself when it comes to content ideas because I'm not a content creator full-time. I don't have that creativity really unlock yet so i'll talk to you guys later i hope you guys enjoyed the video and the next one since my computer's still not up and running remember i'm recording this the same day that the last video went up when i talked about cpr cell phone repair so obviously you can see the date in the corner um my computer's still not going to be up until hopefully the day this goes live or a day or two after but i'll talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed Peace out.